Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm getting ready to head out the door and go on over to my weight loss surgeon and check in with him because it's been like 15 months since I had the surgery. It was September 30th, 2021. I was somewhere around 550. I can't remember exactly when I had the surgery. I weighed in last week at 334, but I was also booty balled naked, get ready to jump in the shower. Now I'm fully dressed, so you know, clothes are gonna weigh something. So I'm a little nervous I'm gonna weigh a little bit more or whatever, but I should be good because it's been a whole week. So I think I should be lighter or right about at 334 fully dressed. But I mean, I'm ready to run out the door. I'm feeling myself today. I think I look pretty damn good. I got this new Carhartt shirt. Got some jeans, some shoes on. I'm definitely feeling myself a little bit, but I love me some me. So let's get ready to head to the weight loss surgeon. All right, later guys. All right, so I just started my car to get ready to head out there. And I don't know why I'm friggin' nervous all of a sudden. I've done absolutely everything I'm supposed to. So I'm just sitting here waiting for it to warm up. It's 34 degrees out, but I decided I'd give you guys a dose of Remy. Everybody loves this little girl. See how you guys wanna see something really funny? Watch this. Remy, Remy, where's the squirrel? Where's the squirrel? Kill, kill Remy, kill the squirrel. And that's what happens when you ask her where a squirrel is. <laughs> All right, so arrive at the weight loss surgeon. Walk up this hill that used to take my breath away from me every single time I had to come here. And it's really not that big a hill, you see it? It's not that big at all. But I used to really be friggin' winded walking into this building. Hopefully this surgeon lets me film him. But I don't know if he will. I wrote down a few questions to ask him if he'll let me ask him. So, we'll see how that goes. So, Dr. McKenna. Yes. He did uh, my surgery September 30th, I believe. That's correct. So I'm down somewhere around 270 pounds. Yes. So... Very Thank you for that. You. Yeah. Very proud of you. You Thank should be proud you. of yourself. And I guess I want to ask, how well am I doing compared to other patients? Well, you're doing beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, it's all relative. You know, bigger people tend to lose more weight. Mm -hmm. If a 400 pound person loses 200 pounds, you know, I'm I'm a hero. I get cards and letters and all that. But if oh, I, yeah. But if a 250 pound person loses 200 pounds, we have a different situation. Mm -hmm. So people who need to lose more weight tend to lose more weight. Mm -hmm. So in your situation where you started to where you are now is a wonderful thing. Uh, and you know, it's a journey. It's gonna take a couple of years for you to get down where you need to be. Mm -hmm. But I think you're doing very well. And uh, it, it's all about how you feel. It's not so much the number, mm -hmm. but how you feel and what your medical conditions are. Mm -hmm. you, are you snoring? Do you sleep better? That's can all you, gone, yeah. Can you get up and down the stairs mm -hmm. without feeling like you're gonna pass out. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tie your shoes? Can you get in the car? You know, can you sit in a chair? Uh, all, can you sit, can you stand up and sit down without plopping? Yeah, you know, your knees give out. <laughs> yeah, do your knees give out? You, you, gravity is sitting you down and not your muscles. So all of, do you have to rock to get out of a chair? You know, all of those <laughs> kinds of things are, are benchmarks for how you're doing, yeah. um, all right? Yeah, I always tell them that, it, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Because you get to that point where you're just like, oh, it's too much. You know, I, I'm not going to get over it. But if you really put your mind to it, you can still lose that weight and get yes. your help, of course. Absolutely. But, oh, I want to ask you about COVID, how that derailed your surgeries and stuff. Because I was oh. right after COVID. I was here three months before. Yeah, well, COVID derailed everybody. Mm -hmm. COVID was terrible. COVID mm -hmm. was real. We lost, uh, we lost a pa we lost one patient directly oh, really? from COVID. Yes, um, somebody who uh, chose not to get vaccinated. It was quite sad, but um, that was a choice. Yeah, at them, um, that weight, I mean, it's really we, more but we serious. Had, we've had several people come in with coughs and symptoms and all that stuff that ended up, I ended up sending them to in, and they had COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, um, they survived it. Um, most of them, some of them got vaccinated afterwards. Mm -hmm. But I always encouraged it. But it shut everybody's practice down significantly okay. because the hospital was on, the resource of the hospital were very stretched and they really could do emergencies only. Mm -hmm. And there's no emergency obesity surgery. You know, one thing about obesity is that nobody shows up in the emergency room saying, you know what, mm -hmm. I'm fat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I woke, yesterday I was fine, today I'm fat. Mm -hmm. You know, appendicitis, 
Oh, yeah. you know, gallbladder. Oh, you know, it, it trauma. Oh, right. obesity. No, yeah. that took a while. Yeah, right? it <laughs> so, didn't happen overnight. It didn't happen overnight. <laughs> so you know, so that's that gets put on the back burner mm -hmm. um, as far as surgery goes because it's considered it's all elective, as opposed to um, some of these other things. Of course, cancer surgeries and mm -hmm. those sorts of things. Okay. okay. Now the next one, it's kind of a more funny question. But do you remember when I came in here, I was getting ready for the surgery and you smelled cigarette smoke on me and you said, oh, it's canceled. Your surgery's canceled. I stormed out of here, called y'all 30 minutes later and apologized. Do you remember that? I do. Yeah, I, I do. was pretty You're mad as a hornet. I was almost in tears at that point, actually. Aww. Yeah, so I stormed out here, looked like a big baby, called you, apologized. Actually, I went to a gas station, bought a scratch off, won 250 bucks. I was like, oh, well, that's a sign. Better call him. <laughs> Where's my cut? Yeah, right. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, but I know I realized what I did right after I left. I just, they probably think something like that's real well, funny. Well, you know, that's interesting because we, sometimes we have to delay patients mm -hmm. because nicotine is a drug, right? Oh, yeah. And, um. I think you said a month or two, no right, smoking. And yeah. at least a month. Uh, nicotine decreases your chances of wound healing. Mm -hmm. So, um. There's no smoking around the time of surgery, and what we want is that you don't pick it back up again. Oh, yeah, I haven't it's had a cigarette not like people, in a long time. Like, we don't want people like, you know, I'm Catholic, so you, know, you give up things for Lent. Mm -hmm. um, and come Easter Sunday, you get to do it all. You get to, you know, do it again, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not like after your surgery, you should start, it's okay to start bad habits up again, but mm -hmm. everything you gave up to get the surgery, now you can start up again after the surgery yeah. because I made it. No. The surgery is not a miracle. Um, so the reason we delayed your surgery was because I needed to be sure that you had the best chance mm -hmm. of, of doing well, right? I was high risk, too. Yeah, you were high risk. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, with high risk for you, high risk for me. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I need you to look good so I can look good. Yeah. <laughs> if you look good, I look good. Yeah. Right? You, uh, right? you, said you made me your first patient of the day because you said I was more high risk and it was more dangerous at my weight. So I think you had me as the only one on the docket for the morning. Could be. Yeah. Could be. So Could be. Right. that happened. Oh, they, I'm sure they're going to want to know about this because it's famous on the My 600 Pound Life show. It's water weight. It's swelling. You remember how bad my legs used to swell. Yes. It was actually insane. I would gain 30 to 40 pounds mm -hmm. and then come in. I, he, he would think I wasn't on my diet, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'd come in on Monday after peeing every 30 minutes and I mm -hmm. weighed 30, 40 pounds lighter. Mm -hmm. I was like, I told you I was on my diet, but yeah. I, I understand why you didn't believe me. I just yeah. got to get it on record that yeah. that really happened. Yeah, that really happened. <laughs> I, I've seen it. I've seen it more than one person. Yeah. So, um, you know, we've seen, we've sent patients for, um, cardiac workups and mm -hmm. all that sort of thing and say we just don't believe it uh, but it turns out it's true and even if we still need to be sure that patient has a good heart mm -hmm. because one of the signs of heart failure is swelling is oh, yeah. edema is peripheral edema mm -hmm. or edema in the arms and the legs swelling in the arms and the legs mm -hmm. and uh, that means the heart can't pump enough to pump that out mm -hmm. uh, to get it through the kidneys yeah. uh, but sometimes uh, either through elevation or through dietary change, mm -hmm. or get, take the salt out of the diet so that you don't swell up from the salt. That when you diurese, mm -hmm. diurese means urinate it all off, you okay. get all of that off of you, and you pee like a racehorse. Oh, th every and, 30 minutes. And, and then, you know, you, you're down. Okay? Yeah. You just don't, just don't want to dehydrate during that time. Oh, yeah, because yeah. right, my sign to get the surgery, what happened was, you remember, I went into kidney failure right before I come in and see you. I was in the hospital for five days, and they said it was a combination of, like, being dehydrated, taking lisinopril and ibuprofen at just mm -hmm. the wrong time, mm -hmm. and they cut off, like, a switch, and then they uh, pushed a uh, dye on me for a CAT scan, mm -hmm. and they were like, that's the worst thing we could have done, but I'd never had kidney issues before yeah, that. Yeah, but it, it was a, yeah, you had a combination mm -hmm. of events. I also let a nurse practice giving me her first ever catheter. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> I cussed her up and down because the one nurse is like, faster, faster. And she's going slow as she can. And I, he, It was funny afterwards, but I apologize to her. <laughs> but I just want to thank you for all You're the welcome. help you get me. And I appreciate it's, you answering a few it's, questions. It's my pleasure. And God bless. And, and I have, uh, we're still on the journey together. Yep. Right? All right. Thank you, Dr. Okay, McKenna. Good enough. All, all right. right, guys. So that's it from Dr. McKenna's office. I weighed in a little heavier than I would have liked to. 
338 is not ideal, but I am fully dressed and all that, and I've ate and drank, whatever. I usually weigh myself butt naked about to jump in the shower, so a little heavier than I would have liked, but all in all, I mean, I'm happy with my progress, and I'm happy that he took the time to answer a few questions that I have. So there you go. That's 15 months out of surgery, down somewhere around 270. Should have been a little more, but I can't just strip in the freaking office, right? But like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.